unboxing it's a cornerstone of team fortress 2 it's like gambling for the chance at some expensive pixels that look pretty cool but what if we made that real well that's what i'm doing today unboxing some real team fortress 2 merchandise and hoping for an unusual yeah so the point of this video is quite simple i'm gonna try and get 15 kills five kills for each of the three things i have um received and then you know five more kills unlocks another thing for me to unbox pretty simple we'll see how many we can do in a life but as long as i get 15 kills i think that should that should be enough to allow me to unbox the things i purchased quite a while ago um oh boy harvest this is going to be a tough one i think it's a soldier move for harvest to be honest you know all the good gamers play on harvest so i'm very scared <laughs> uh bots yeah this is why we need to fix tf2 guys not necessarily save it just fix it because look at this shit man okay mercenary park mercenary! Ah! i do fuck with mercenary park it's a very cool map um, i'm happy with this i'll take it what the hell? I did not manage to get up there. That's crazy. Maybe there are new things I need to be aware of. Oh, oh fuck. There's a bot. One. One kill down. 14 left to go. That's two kills. Ooh. Oh, piss. <laughs> We're getting rolled. What's going on? Maybe Mystery Park wasn't the vibe. I mean, a double medic and a heavy, it's not, it's not the best thing to fight, let's be real. It's not fun. 12 kills left. Oh man, those crits were very few and far between. I'm not sure how that was a, a backstab, but we move, unfortunately. Sunshine! There's also a bot on the server, which is, you know, just great news. We're 3 for 3 at the moment, which is actually quite phenomenal. Alright, so we need 12 kills, um, hopefully we can cook. That's the name of the game. What's he doing? He's not killing me, that's for sure. I'm alive! <laughs> this is the worst fight in history. I'm actually so bad at this game, it's actually embarrassing. I'm. Fucking hell. That was awful. Is it cheating not doing it in a kill streak? Maybe, but with the. the bot state of Team Fortress 2, I think I need a little bit of reprieve. I actually want to unbox these packages. 11 kills. Um. 10 kills? Question mark? Nine kills? I mean the spy's not dead, but nine kills? Technically? Counts as a kill streak, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say nine kills. I'm a big Team Fortress 2 flop. Let's just let's just say that. Ah, oh, a map that I love. Double cross. Let's fucking go. Capture the flag? Are you kidding me? Beautiful, beautiful scenes. Nine kills. Need to get nine kills in this game. Eight kills! Let's go! That was a terrible fight on my behalf. I am so bad at this video game. It is insane. What an interesting loadout. I've never actually seen that cosmetic before. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Oh, seven kills. Okay. Six kills! Ooh. Five kills. No, oh, yeah. Six kills. Five kills, yeah. Maths. The final item. Five more kills. We must get five more kills. Four more kills. That was a sick ragdoll as well. Three more kills. Let's go. Two more kills. Come on. Oh, 
One more kill. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, my God. Zero more kills. Let's fucking go, lads. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. Well, I was about to say we're going to go until, until I die, but I'm fucking popping off at the moment, so I don't even know when that will happen. Christ almighty. Oh, oh we hit a reflect. He did hit a reflect, to be fair to him. He cooked. Bastard. Ah. Oh, couldn't get a 10 kill streak, could I? Anyway, we did it. We hit the goal of... 15 kills we actually excelled because you know that's just what i do i excel <laughs> and now it's time to uh unbox the epic parcels you know well hello and welcome to the unboxing setup um <laughs> i'm not really sure how this is going to look but i think it looks pretty decent so we're just going to roll with it and hope that it's okay so yeah we're going to get to the unboxing we got two things in here one thing here and as i got 15 kills I'm allowed to unbox everything in here, so let's just get on with it. I think we'll go for this one first because I'm more excited in these. So we're just going to go with this one. It's just a little envelope already opened um, way back when and then not touched. So it's been a pretty quick unboxing for this one. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Just look at that. It says signed pyro print. Um, the art is by Flapjack and it is signed by Dennis Bateman, who, of course, voices the pyro. And it even has my name at the top here, although he spelt it wrong. <laughs> but I won't hold it against him. TF2 is my favourite game. The Pyro is the class that I main. So I just wanted something to commemorate that, really. But yeah, we're going to gonna get this framed and then um, we'll tackle the big box, I think. But look at that. It's absolutely phenomenal. And yeah, I'm just happy to have something representing the game and the class or character of the game that I love. So I'm very happy with that. All right, and then uh, let's get to the the main event. I wanted to get like a, you know, one of them flip knives like the Spy has, but um, I couldn't find one for a reasonable price. And if I'm just going to be using it for a joke, I don't want to be spending a lot of money on it. I did nick myself there. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff. Oh, my God. M -m 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 money shot. Epic. It's like a postcard. It's pretty cool. Like a little... I don't know how this will show up on, on camera. It's like a wavy little TF2 postcard sort of thing. So those are quite nice. Did not expect to be receiving those, but I will take it nonetheless. So we've got a very, very sought-after NECA TF2 action figure. I went for the Pyro, of course. Blue Pyro. I think it looks very cool. I'm just very happy with this, to be honest. Very happy to get my hands on one of these, because if you look at the second-hand market for these... By God, they're expensive. And then we got three of these little um, blind boxes, I guess you could call them. So these were the main inspiration for this video because I wanted to do a little blind unboxing of these little blind box bag kind of guys. You get these little TF2 mercs, which I'm very excited to unbox. Um, but I think first we're going to tackle the pyro, the Necker pyro in this very hard to open box. <laughs> We got a free our mans. It also comes with this this little card and a little, a little description of the pyro. So I'm going to read that out for you. Only two things are known for sure about the mysterious pyro. He set things on fire and doesn't speak. In fact, only the part about setting things on fire is undisputed. Some believe his occasional rasping wheeze may be an attempt to communicate through mouth obstructed by a filter and attached to lungs ravaged by constant exposure to his asbestos lined suit. Either way, he's a fearsome, inscrutable, on-fire Frankenstein of a man. If he even is a man. Right, what the f- why are his man- why are his hands molded- why are his feet molded- what's going on? How am I supposed to get this man out? Like, what the f- <laughs> what's g I think I need to fuck up this plastic, is what's, what's happening here. My god, he's escaping! He's escaping! Ooh. One foot. Oh, fucking result. My boy has been freed. There we go. He's standing on business right now. Look at this man. Very cool. Got his weapons as well. We'll find a place to display him properly. That'll do. 
Um, we'll stand him there with this little flamethrower walking stick and his little axe. Yes, this is a card with a free TF2 code on it that I'm unlocking. It gives me a genuine hat and I want it just to show that, hey, I own a pyro figure. You know, flex on the paws. So we're getting into the meat and potatoes now of these little blind boxes. They're very cool. They're designed to look like TF2 crates. Are you ready for this? Oh, it's in a bag. I was going to like flop him out so I couldn't see it. First character. This feels like a sentry gun. I'm going to assume it is a sentry gun. Very nice Manco packaging. Very cool. Let's see what we got. We got the red sentry. He looks very cool. It rotates. Nice. Look at that. We've got a little, a little sentry gun. Anything else in there? Oh, a little engineer. A little um, toolbox. You can live with the pyro over here. I know this isn't a lot accurate because you would be shooting him. But we move. Numero two. Please don't be another sentry gun. It feels like another sentry gun. I'm not going to lie. Alright. It's a little soldier. Very cute. I like that. Very happy that it's not another sentry gun. His helmet did throw me off. And he comes with a little a little battalion backup. No. Oh, a little a little buff banner. So two very fun unboxers. Let's go for the third. I'm happy with Soldier. He's my second most played class in the game. Um so let's hope this is neither of those. It feels like another sentry gun though, I'm not going to lie. If it is, please be blue. Oh shit. Please don't be another sentry gun. It's a blue sentry gun. That's... oh, hang on. Well, I mean, we got two sentry guns, but... So is this one in that one as well? The top came off, what's this? Oh, <laughs> oh it's little... A little blueprint of the sentry gun. That's that's a nice touch. So I imagine there's similar in the red one. We won't check that. We'll just keep that in there. That top's that top's not really on, is it? This one is. So I don't know how I'm supposed to open that one. Oh well. Maybe it was just in the blue one. Who knows? At the end of the day, it, it's a cool little TF2 collectible. I can't really complain. These are very rare and expensive nowadays. So getting them for close to retail price minus shipping was actually very very good yeah i'm quite happy with all of that to be honest but yeah this is my unboxing got some very cool team fortress 2 collectibles and of course my dennis bateman signed pyro print with my name spelt wrong on it <laughs> so yeah hope you've enjoyed this video and it's something very different from my channel well technically it's still an unboxing video and it costs a lot more than my normal unboxings do but it's got some physical cool shit in here that I'm very, very happy with. I would love to do this video again. I'd love to unbox a full set of these, but they're hella expensive. But if anyone out there is feeling generous enough, get in contact with you. So if that's something we can set up, let me know. But yeah, this has been my real life TF2 unboxing and I'm very happy with the results. You know, no unusuals, but I'm sure I can live with that because I've got these cool little, little guys. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.